It's been a long day. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride on what could be among the most spectacular public transit commutes anywhere. It is a different kind of commute. It's probably the only transit agency in the Bay Area where on your way home, or to work, you get a drink. If, whoa, if the seasickness doesn't get you first. You're packed in with European and Midwestern tourists. It's just sort of nice that your way to get to work is also a tourist attraction. No, no one sits on the 880 as a tourist and like, oh, I want to go check that out. Yeah, the Cross Bay commute can be a bear. I come from Oakley, um, so I'm on Highway 4, 242, 680, 24, 580, and then the Bay Bridge 80. Too bad Captain Dushan Crawford can't take his own ferry to work like 2.1 million others do. That's up 8% over the year before. This is your line right here. Watch your step. So much so, they actually line out the door and sometimes have to cut it off during heavy commutes. Unless you get in the line in the very beginning, you're probably standing. Also in their night games for the Giants, so like the commuter people plus all the Giants fans, that that's when it's like particularly hairy and you just don't want to be on the ferry. You know, we're filling up boats, uh, this vessel in particular, Peralta's 336 total capacity. We'll fill that up easily, leaving passengers, commuters at the ferry building. It got so bad, commuters themselves circulated petitions. 300 riders demanding more service. It worked. We appreciated that. Uh, we responded to it by making these changes. Ernest Sanchez of the ferry service says there are three new trips. Two to Vallejo, one to Alameda and Oakland in the afternoon commute hours. It's going to cost close to a million dollars. We need to meet with our partners and discuss how can we continue that funding as we go forward. And then more importantly, um, if this continues as we expect it will in the Bay Area, how are we going to develop more capacity on the ferries to deal with the growth we expect?